Hi guys, it's Ayman here. Today's video is about neonatal cardiac POCUS or point of care ultrasound, which is an important skill that uh, is quick, reliable, and helps you make the best uh, clinical decision uh, uh, at the bedside on daily basis in NICU. Okay, so we're just gonna go over uh, the neonatal cardiac uh, POCUS. To do so, we have to look at uh, different views um, uh, of the heart. The first one is called apical four chamber view. So uh, this is it. This is the apical four chamber view. You can see um, the apex at the bottom here. Uh, and as you know, like we flip the image as opposed to the uh, adult uh, echocardiography. Uh, it's just easier for us to uh, to look at it, uh, but it's pretty much the same uh, principle. So it's called four chamber view because you can see the four chambers: the uh, RA, LA, and uh, RV, LV. Um, the way to get it is uh, we bring the probe, we put it uh, where we think the apex is, which is usually below the left nipple, and the marker of the probe, uh, which is on the other side here, should be. Uh, towards the left shoulder as you can see uh, we look and this is uh, how we cut the heart into uh, the four chambers what do we look at in this view you can subjectively say uh, that there is a good systolic function you can see the LV contracting well here as well as the uh, RV obviously you need to quantify it and do some measurements but again we're only doing a focus uh, study at this point so this is a good uh, systolic function as opposed to poor systolic function. You can see the LV is barely contracting. Uh, the same for uh, the RV. Obviously, this comes with uh, more experience as well. So this is good systolic function versus poor systolic function. Um, what else we look at? We look at the um, filling. So the LV filling, for example, here, you can say that the LV is not underfilled, doesn't appear uh, underfilled here. As opposed to this image, for example, you can see the LV here is almost empty and you can, we, we use the term that the walls are kissing, right? So, and this is because of the underfilled uh, LV. This is suggestive of uh, LV uh, preload uh, decrease, okay? Uh, so we talked about the contractility, the filling as well. This is all from the uh, apical four chamber view. Now let's move to the other view, which is called peristernal long axis view. So uh, this is how it looks like. Um, I'm just gonna put the uh, uh, labels on these chambers. So you can see the LA here at the bottom and LV here. So the blood will flow from the LA to the LV and then uh, out of the uh, aorta through the aortic root here. On top here, you can see the RV and there is intraventricular septum in the uh, in between the RV and the LV, okay? So this is a normal uh, personal long axis view of a neonate. Uh, how do we get it? We put the probe next to the uh, left sternum. Uh, the probe, the oh sorry, the, the marker of the probe or the pointer is here, is towards the uh, right shoulder, okay? As opposed to the apical view, the marker is, if you remember, or the pointer was towards the left shoulder, okay? And this is how we get the uh, long axis view of the uh, heart. Uh, what do we look at? We look again at uh, the systolic function. You can see here that the uh, two walls of the left ventricle, this is the posterior wall and this is the intraventricular septum, septum, they are getting closer to each other with uh, systole. So there is good contractility. If you want to see poor contractility, this is an example of it. And you can see here the uh, walls are barely moving, right? So this is a poor contractility or poor systolic uh, function. With experience, you will also be able to judge the RV contractility. As you see here, the RV, when as the RV contracts, the wall of the RV, this is the free wall of the RV, it thickens, right? So this is a good contractility as well. Here, hmm, maybe not that much, but again, uh, it's difficult to assess that uh, from this view. We also look at the filling. Uh, there is a good filling here of the LV versus, look at here, the walls of the LV, the posterior wall and the interventricular septum uh, are almost kissing. So they suggest decreased uh, or underfilled left ventricle. 
Moving to the next view, which is called parasternal short axis view, as opposed to the long axis view. This is the uh, uh, left ventricle. And on top here, it's not very clear in this uh, image, but uh, you can see the uh, RV here usually. And these are the labels. So LV, RV here on top, and then interventricular septum is uh, in the middle. So how do we get it? From the long axis view, if you remember, the pointer was towards the right shoulder. Uh, in here, we just have to rotate the probe by 90 degrees, making the pointer or the marker towards the left shoulder. Okay, and then we um, tilt the probe up and down to uh, to cut the heart at different levels uh, in this movement, as you see here. Okay, so this is the uh, how do how we get the uh, short axis view. Um, and uh, again, the same thing, we look at the filling and contractility the same way we judged it from the long axis and the apical view. So this short axis view represents a good LV filling as well as systolic function. The septum, the septum, the intraventricular septum is round throughout the cardiac cycle. So uh, during systole and diastole, as opposed to here, for example, as you see the LV is maybe not very well filled. It's it looks underfilled. The RV appears enlarged and uh, dilated. Uh, and also look at the symptom how it, how it's uh, flattening during uh, systole. I'm just gonna stop the video. So uh, this is diastole, and then with systole, as you see, there is, there is a flat septum. This is consistent with pulmonary hypertension, actually. From the subcostal uh, view, we also can get some uh, information. This is the subcostal uh, view. You can see um, uh, the liver here, uh, and uh, this is the IBC draining into the right atrium. I'm just going to put the labels. So this is the IBC draining into the right atrium. Uh, this is the hepatic vein and uh, the ductus venosus. Sometimes you can see the UVC coming from here, uh, from the ductus venosus towards the um, uh, right atrium, and sometimes actually you can see the pick line uh, if there is a pick line in the IBC here. Okay, uh, how do we get it? We just put the uh, probe um, subcostal under the xiphoid, and um, the pointer is up towards the baby's head. Okay, it's just basically in the midline. And uh, we look again at the filling, at the uh, uh, collapsibility of the IVC because, you know, the uh, IVC will collapse and will expand with breathing cycles. Look at this one. Uh, the IVC is like almost collapsed and it's not really f well filled. This could suggest hypovolemia. So you may consider fluid in, in uh, this case. As opposed to this one, Look at how, how dilated it is and how big. Look how the hepatic vein, this su suggests like either fluid overload or like higher pressure on the right side of the heart um, and pretty much heart failure, right? And the, the IVC here is dilated and it's not collapsed. And this is what I wanted to uh, show you guys. I hope that was helpful. Thanks a lot and see you in the next video.